beat him. All right. All right so yes, I knew it. I knew he was gonna do this. All right, let's get into the game, guys. This oh my god! Get really fun. Switch it, switch it, switch it. Go, 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 go. Oh, oops, please, production, please. All right, here we go. We have the classic float to the gold with the command center. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think the game. I, th I think if you do this as a Terran, you don't intend for the game to last very long, do you? Like he positions no. all the SUVs like around. <laughs> oh look, he's listening to music again. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, if Harstom is going to check for this uh, for this stuff, it should be easy. It should be easy, really. I mean, um, I talked with this uh, about this strategy. I talked, uh, I discussed it with a, a guy that does it quite often in uh, high masters or top masters uh -huh. as a Terran player, and he says, you know, like there's a really easy response in uh, TVZ and TVP mm -hmm. for this, but most of the people don't know how to respond to this. That's the problem. So that's why I can get away with it. There's a whole lot of lame things I could be saying to this response. Uh, like Usually if, if people complain about low FPS in the online tournament, then it's just you know, deal with it. If it's purely FPS, but right now we're the ones accommodating them, uh, arranging the PC, so... Yeah. Just need to make sure that, uh, that that's going to be fine. Uh, I'm not sure if you're still wearing his headphones, so probably would <laughs> it would be better if we don't <laughs> talk about strategies. Harston very, very tired. No, no, no. He's but just look at him jamming. Look at him jamming. I mean, he's uh, constantly grooving. Uh, yeah, you can see J-Power sitting behind him, and I think he's kind of jealous of the amount of swag that uh, Arstim is emanating yeah. just by sitting there and playing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I mean, come on, that smile. You know. But J-Power, he's got nothing to be ashamed of. No. He's, got the, he's got the greatest hair. I'm sorry. What? Oh, but he's got fine. the greatest hair. No, we all love Jay Power, so it's completely fine. Jay. So we're going to have to wait a little bit while the admin uh, solves the issues with the FPS problem. Yeah. And we can't talk about his strategy. Oh. Well, we cannot, because no. we don't know if they, that, if they have their headphones on or not. Well, okay, we can see for Harston, but still, it's better if we don't. Yeah, oh, exactly. Actually, they're sitting like right next to each other. Yeah, so, exactly. So Harston can just look over his shoulder if he wants to see. Yeah, if he just turns his head to the right, he would he would see everything. That's true. Mm -hmm. Which reminds me, next time we should we should probably get some sort of a barrier between the players. Mm -hmm. Looks like both of them are ready. Yeah, the PCs are actually in position that you can't see, look over. Oh, so that's right. quite nice. Um, but yeah, w when you do this, I think you're supposed to two racks. Yes. I, I have never done this actually. I think maybe once for fun in TV or something, but. Yeah, so there's the first racks. Now, here is the important bit, the scouting from Harstam. He's sending out his probe. Yeah. Will he Will he see this? I mean, Yeah, he's going to attack the Zonaga Tower. Yeah, the Zonaga, the Zonaga Tower Sorry. should show him the SCVs over the minerals. There we go. Is he paying attention? I think he's... Yeah, he rechecks. He's like, really? I wanted to see a shot of his face the moment he saw that. That would have been interesting. But yeah, yeah, that would. Wait, he's and actually getting a uh, gas instead of two racks. Yeah, he's probably going to get a Reaper as well, I think. I'm not sure that's the right uh, move. No, it can't be a Reaper. I mean, it's too late to yeah. the gas for that. It has to be a factory. Mm -hmm. it, will, it probably will be a factory. Is he going to go Marine Widow Mine push with this? He could, uh, dropping is also too slow, so this could be anything. Like wow, I'm, I'm getting seriously confused right now. I wonder if he even knows what he's doing himself. <laughs> I think he knows exactly what he's doing. It's just us not making the correct reads. I hope so, because he's the full-time player. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Harstam's response so far has been mellow. Of course, he's getting a cybernetic score. That's the factory. Yeah, it's going to be a Marine Widow Mine push, I think. Mm. That's interesting. Like, how do you pr respond to that as Protoss at this stage? Like, um, it's um, you can't chase the Marines, because then you chase into Widow Mines. That's something you don't want to happen. Well, basically, you don't expand and you get a robo. Yeah. Harstam is expanding, but he needs to get a robo, like right now. He is actually expanding. Wow. Oh, he's getting the Mothership Core. <laughs> yeah, when you get Mothership Core, th th this attack has help, right? Um. Well, with the Mothership Core, as long as you have enough energy for a photon overcharge for the natural base, and you have observers there, then yeah, I mean, 
even before the observers, you can just kind of target down the widow mines as their own approach oh, and burrowing. He's actually getting the starport. So oh, he is going arrest. to be dropping Hellions. Yeah, this is this oh, is a man. heavy marine drop. It can That's actually be really effective, but I'm not sure how much faster it actually. Oh, he needs to be careful with his marshal core. You don't want to fight two marines, with, uh, three marines with a marshal core. This is a this is a really old build. I mean, yeah, this Infernal is still does it, of, obviously, but he's done it in competitive games before uh, and has had success with it because you can, it, it you, you need like one winner mine and I think three win three hellions and just a bunch of marines and you lift them all into the main and you can do a, do a ton of damage. No wait, you lift the mine and the marines into the main. And then you run the Hellions into the natural and kill everything. Yeah, that could be the case here. Now, the thing is that Harstam did not see the star ports. He goes in with the mothership Poro, he gets Whoa. chased away by the Marines, and he did not see the star port. Here comes a scout from U Thermal, because this cannot be really described in any other way other than a scout. So there's the Hellion. Uh, he's he sees gonna see the, the Robo. Yeah, he sees the Robo, so he knows that detection will be available by the time he gets over there. Here. Let's see what he's going to load up into the medevac. You're right, it's going to be the Marines and the mine. Yeah, but there's no Hellions. There are no time. Hellions, and Harstam is going to be absolutely prepared for he's this. He's getting a tank and three extra barracks. So this looks like some sort of 1-1-1. Okay, so the, the mine gets dropped along with the Marines. There is target fire that down before it burrows. Yeah, that's gonna be really difficult. Oh, really difficult to prevent. Uh, no, oh, that was so close. You thermal almost, uh, almost messing this up. Oh, he's targeting another pylon. That's quite nice. He's gonna shut down these gateways. Uh, not much Harstam can do there except pop, pop photon overcharge. But he put these gateways in a position where they are not covered by photon overcharge. Yeah, and the gateways are are not in the best of positions either. I mean, you can unload the medevac at the top of the base and just put pressure on the gateways. Eventually, maybe even kill them off yeah. and limit severely ri limit the production, the defensive capabilities of the Protoss player. And we have cloak on the way, so this is definitely a one-one-one yeah. build this, from U Thermal. This is the one-one-one Anno 2014 version. <laughs> yes. I love it. There's two additional barracks because he can afford it. And yeah, it's this, these minerals here that he's mining, that's going to be everything he has. Uh, he's and not going to give up aggression then, which is a good move. Well, he has to keep on being aggressive, that is true. And I think Harstam realizes what he's up against exactly. Look at this, he's adding yeah. on additional gateways. He started Immortal production, he knows that he has to get yeah, his uh, Zealot Immortal count up and then, uh, then uh, warp in one or two rounds of Stalkers to try to target down the Banshee. He's getting a second Observer and he's gonna need it because the cloak, the Banshee's gonna fly in. Oh, there's actually already an Observer there, so he has, he has yeah, two Observers. So they're both in perfect, perfect position. That's excellent defense here by Harstam. I, I would wager Harstam has almost seen him do this before on ladder because he has his number. Like, how much damage has uh, Euphermal actually been able to do? He killed a single pylon. That's just yeah, about that's, it. Yeah, that's it. And there's gonna be an SCV pool the moment these minerals all run out, I swear. Yeah, of course, I mean, Euthermal is not expanding, why would you keep on mining the base? Uh, another poke here from Euthermal, oh. the Banshee goes down! That was a huge pickup from Harstam right oh, there. Is Harstam actually going to counterattack here? I think he is. He can't attack into those, well actually he can, but it's not he the He will position. have high ground vision, he can pick off that tank rather easily with the Immortal and the Stalkers. So many Marines though for Euthermal. But he can go around. Oh, watch out. Oh, that Banshee, that was close. Euthermal yeah. has to be really careful right now. The thing is, uh, which is really good for Harstam, like having your army out on the map, it does mean it can get, get caught. You should see this army moving out though. Um, but it also kind of holds off your opponents for a long while. So many units. This is like the classic 1-1-1 one, one, one all in. This is I Puma 2011 oh, all over again, man. I love doing this shit on ladder. Like, I hate so basic. Many I hate facing this shit on ladder, man. I got so <laughs> many wins with this build in, back in the time. Oh my Ooh, god, Harstam. Harstam not paying attention, losing three stalkers absolutely for free. Well, did he lose an immortal too? I don't. I, I think he. I think there's he no did. sentries. He can't force field. Why doesn't he have sentries? He doesn't have any gas. He can still warp into more. He wants to Oh man. Oh man, he needs to pull probes, and even that is probably not going to be oh, enough. The, the warping warp get, gets cancelled. One ship core falls as well. The. <laughs> Next is still alive, but at this point, wait. Wait, oh, the, the, the immortal flag. from the. Oh, oh my, my goodness, God. that was so genius coming from the bottom and sniping those tanks off. He sniped like three tanks and one has like 20 HP. He's repairing it, but. Whoa, that just completely turned everything around. Look at the economy. There's none for your thermal. This is everything he has. Every second, Harsum stays a lot longer, his chance of winning improves. And there's still immortals. He snipes. 
tries to snipe actually the Siege Tank, but the Marines get on top of the Immortals, and he gets the Immortal before it kills the Siege Tank, but it still gets killed off. There's still Stalkers here in the main, though, and Zealot's ready, but Euphermal's army is just dwindling. Yeah, it is. He only has a handful of Marines left with uh, the Medivac and the Banshee backed up by the tank, though. So Harston will have to wait for at least one more Immortal and a round of Warbits oh, before he can go, go forward. He can wait for a little while, a couple more seconds. Oh, there's a Warping from the side as well with Zealots. Yeah, I, I think there's too many Stalkers here. They're far focusing down the tank at this point. Zealots closing in with the Marines and Euphermal's army has to pick up and GG! There's the GG and too legit to quit. Take this 3 to 1. <laughs> Harston <laughs> laughing like a hyena. He's having a lot of fun with this one, I can see that.